Hello YouTube! My name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 in the first in a series of videos where I'll be spotlighting different weapons that we have available to us here in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Keep in mind this video and a lot of the videos to come are going to be from the Black Ops 3 beta in that it is a beta, everything is subject to change and may not actually be reflected in the final version of the game that we'll be seeing in November. But keep in mind I will be doing other spotlight videos when the game actually makes its full release in November. The first video we're going to be doing today is going to be covering the Weevil Submachine Gun. What my favorite weapons here in the Black Ops 3 beta and what I've actually done with this is I've actually gotten the weapon up to max level. I've actually got all the attachments unlocked for this weapon so far which I will be doing for every weapon that I feature in this little mini series where I spotlight different weapons. So I'm going to be playing around with the weapon a lot. I'm going to be getting it all the way up to max level. I'm going to be experimenting with the different attachments and whatnot and just discussing the weapon in general and my general impressions and thoughts towards the weapon itself. So the Weevil it is a very fun submachine gun in my own opinion. If you played Call of Duty 4 or if you played Modern Warfare 2 is very similar to the P90 submachine gun that was featured in those games. It has a ridiculously big magazine size by default. It has a 50 round magazine which is fantastic. If you saw my Black Ops 3 montage it is very nice because you're able to take out people at these de decent ranges. Now, let's not kid ourselves. Let's not act like it has amazing range. But you're able to take these people out at pretty decent ranges with one magazine without ever having to reload. It's very nice for picking up double kills and triple kills and things like that. But to balance the giant magazine size that this thing has, it actually puts out very mediocre damage, it has very mediocre range, and its fire rate is above average, but it's not very good, right? So the fire rate is not the fastest in the game, but it's by far not the slowest in the game. It has an above average fire rate, pretty low damage, and pretty mediocre range, but a giant magazine size. So that's really what you have to keep in mind while using the Weevil, is that when you're close quarters with people, this thing can tear through your opponents. You have that giant magazine, you can just go in there and hip fire your way to victory, which is why I recommend using the laser sight. And you can have a lot of fun with this SMG, but again, I feel as though the damage on this weapon is a bit light. I have had, again, some really good clips with this, but that does not in any way equal the amount of clips where I'm shooting at somebody and they just drop me because their weapon does a lot more damage. I feel as though the Weevil could actually benefit from a bit of a damage increase, but at the same time, that's really tough to balance because having a weapon that has a pretty good fire rate like the Weevil does in a giant magazine size, you can't have the damage being so good that it's going to become like the only submachine gun people ever use. Remember back to Black Ops 2, remember the PDW with its big magazine and how powerful it was when the game first came out, we don't want a repeat of that. Of course, they end up nerfing the PDW back, and then people kind of stopped using it altogether. But pre-nerf PDW, that thing was pretty good. I definitely think they don't want to have a repeat of that with the Weevil here, thus why the damage on it is so low. But right now, I actually think it's in a pretty good spot. It fits like a very good niche, I think, here in Black Ops 3, and that it is the submachine gun with the giant magazine size, a pretty good fire rate, and it kind of has its own specific role. And if you're looking to try and clean up big areas of people all at once, I think it's going to be a good submachine gun to do just that. It's not going to be anything ridiculous like the Vesper and that has a ridiculously high fire rate. It's not going to be anything like that where it's going to melt people, but it is going to be a lot like the P90 of Call of Duty years past. Looking at the attachments here, there's actually going to be 10 attachments, not counting the optical sights that you can equip to your Weevil. You can get the Quick Draw, the Suppressor, the Grip, the Stock, the Laser Sight, FMJ, Fast Mags, Long Barrel, Extended Mag, as well as Rapid Fire. For this weapon, I'm actually going to recommend to you guys four different attachments. I'm going to recommend the Reflex Sight. Now, keep in mind that it's completely subjective if you guys like the iron sights on this gun and you feel comfortable with it, that's fine. It's always best to go with iron sights because that frees up one of your pick 10 spots to so keep that in mind. But I personally like the reflex sight on this thing. And in terms of the rest of attachments, I like to use the foregrip to help minimize the recoil at those medium ranges because, again, this gun does kind of struggle at any kind of a range. I like to have laser sight on here because having a giant 50 round magazine, you'll find that you can just hip fire people down like crazy, which is fantastic, as well as long barrel because, again, guys, this gun does not have a very good damage output. It doesn't have very good range, so having long barrel on there is going to make it so the range is a bit better, therefore making the gun a bit more viable at other ranges than just medium to close, all right? So just keep that in mind. It's a very fun submachine gun. It's by far my most used weapon here in the Black Ops 3 beta so far, and that's why we covered it first here in my Black Ops 3 Spotlight series. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys all found it helpful and informative, and if you did, please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel it deserves. And of course, let me know in the comment section below, what is your opinion on the Weevil? How do you guys like to run your attachments? Do you think that maybe it's too weak? Do you think it's maybe too strong? What would you like to change about the weapon because keep in mind this is a beta and then all this kind of feedback is exactly what the developers are actually looking for so of course let us know your thoughts and opinions on the weevil submachine gun in the comment section below i hope you guys all enjoyed this video hopefully you guys all found it helpful and informative remember to leave a rating i hope you guys all have a wonderful day